Hi there, welcome to my world. Well, maybe not all my world. My part is the southern half. Of course, I don't mean I own the whole southern half, more like the very bottom of the world and I don't actually own that either. I just, forget it. Let's just start over again. You see that island? People call it South Georgia, and I call it home. Cozy, isn't it? At least that's the way I remember it. I haven't been home in three years, but now it's time for me to return and start the biggest adventure of my life. I can see the island in my mind's eye as clearly as the day I first poked my head into the world. I share this place with the odd albatross. You know, it can circle the world in a single flight, but it makes its nest right here. It's spring, so that means the elephant seals will be lumbering up onto the shore. Why are they called elephant seals? I always wondered how they got their name, but I never had permission to ask. The fur seals will be back too. I always like fur seals. Who wouldn't? Cute and lots of fun. But not everyone is friendly. They're dangerous animals as well. Killer whales or orcas. Ruthless savage leopard seals. And skewers, nasty things always looking for something to steal or kill. But even nastier and bigger, giant petrels. And then there's my hometown, the city where I grew up. I wonder if it's changed much since the last time I was there. Penguin City. King penguins to be exact. Do you see me? I'm the devilishly handsome one with the orange patch on my neck. Look at me, see me? I'm kidding. You can't find me because I'm not on the island yet. But now that I've given you the big buildup, it's time for my grand entrance. There I am. I know, you weren't expecting someone so imposing, so heroic, so, ooh, shrimp. <clears throat> anyway, so suave, I'm good looking too. I'm back home where I hatched four years ago. I've been out to sea fishing, frolicking, and having fun. Just me and my two cousins, Larry and Mo. The Penguin Pack, that's what we call ourselves. Watch out, we're back. You probably want to know my name, but in Penguin, it involves a lot of flipper waving, feather plucking, and bowing. You can just call me Rex. The old place looks about the same as I recall. Hi there. Remember me? Well, that was awkward. I don't think he's moved in three years. Oh, look, still at each other's throats. And skewers still lurking. Nope, not much has really changed. Well, amigos, it's time to hit the tap. This is where I make my usual elegant, sexy entrance. Bit slippery. All right. Guys, watch and learn. The return of the hero.
This is the moment I've been looking forward to all those months at sea. My first glimpse of the big time. Penguin City. You know, it's even bigger than I remembered. Sorry, boys. I'm going in solo. I don't need you two hicks cramping my style. No offense. I heard there's a shortage of girls this year. All's fair in love and fishing, they say. Whoa. That guy has got a big egg. Gotta get a move on. Gotta hustle to break through the crowd in Penguin City. Oh, look. A dad spitting up food into his chick's mouth. Kinda makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? This place is hopping. There's action everywhere. Young punks fighting over a bird. And couples, couples, couples everywhere. Everyone seems to have someone. I hope there's a girl left for me. If they don't find a mate, what's gonna happen to me? Where do I fit in? Maybe I don't. never knew you could be so lonely in a crowd. Now I guess I should find my cousins and we'll just, oh, hello, beautiful. Look at the size of those flippers and those eyes. She's looking at me. Whoa, 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 I feel something strange. <laughs> a feeling I can't resist. It's like a, like, like uh, an itch. A really bad itch. Oh, great. This isn't the time. Oh, it's my neck. Hold on a second, miss. If I could just get to my head. That feels good. Now, where were we? Where did she go? Why are all those feathers on the ground? Ah, uh, what a time to start molting. I hope I don't look silly. I hope I don't look like a joke. <laughs> huh? Hey, Larry Moe, you look terrible. This isn't the homecoming I was imagining. My new feathers aren't waterproof yet, so I can't even go into the water. No fish, no girl, no fun. Just me, Larry, and Mo. How humiliating. And meanwhile, the girl of my dreams is out there, living it up in Penguin City with all the other bachelors. Two weeks. It's been two long, boring weeks, shivering in the cold, waiting for my feathers to grow back, and now I am starving. Dinner time.
to work out for over a week now to get back in prime condition. Doesn't happen overnight, you know. Not a lot of gyms around here. All right, guys. Coming through. I've been hanging out with this group of fur seals, hunting fish together and building up my strength. It's been fun, y'all, but I gotta get back to business. Penguin City, here I come. Yeah! Back to my fight and wait. Got my new coat and I'm looking sharp. That pretty lady doesn't stand a chance. If I can find her, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't have found someone else, would she? Nah, 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 nah. There, I felt some real chemistry between us. We, we clicked. There she is. Wow, look at her. She's gorgeous. Uh, uh oh. Oh boy. She's looking me over. I bet act cool, nonchalant. As if you hadn't noticed. That was a bad idea. She's walking away again. I'm not gonna let her get away this time. Please don't go. Um, just give me one minute, please. Hi. I just wanted to... That is, I, I, I thought, um, 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 how, how can I show you my feelings? My lady. What do you know? She bowed too. Okay, all right, let's do it again. If you'll be my mate, I will be the proudest penguin on the island. Patagonia, that's a lovely name. Mind if I call you Patty? I, I've dreamed of this moment for so long, Patty. I can't believe it's happening. It, it's as if we've known each other forever. It's as if we belong together. Oh boy, I'm the penguin. I'm the penguin, follow me to heaven, baby. Looky here, our bridal suite. I wonder where we're going on our honeymoon. French Polynesia, Hawaii. Oh right, the seaside. What a surprise. Oh, well. Surf's up! Party wave! That 
was fun. Now we're ready to see what the new day will bring. It's been an amazing couple of weeks. I'm not just one of the guys anymore. I'm sitting on a big secret. My egg, my very own egg. Okay, all right, I didn't exactly lay up myself, but I've got an important job. When our chick hatches, it'll be hungry. I've got to sit on the egg while Patty goes off to catch the fish. I can't move from my spot until Patty comes back. I hope she comes back soon. It's funny when you think about it. A few short weeks ago, I was a bachelor penguin roaming the ocean without a care in the world. All I wanted was to find a girl and settle down with, a, with an egg of my own. And now, I'm settled down, all right. I can't move an inch. I'm stuck to this one little spot of land for weeks. I can't help thinking about those carefree days spent in the ocean. Lucky for me, my cousin Larry moved in next door garden and egg of his own. We can keep each other company. Through the long, cold nights. And the endless days. Gosh, I wonder how Patty's doing. Hope she's safe. Hey there, little guy. It's your dad. You know, I recall my dad talking to me before I hatched. I could hear him inside my egg and I got to recognize his voice. Hey, keep it down, fellas. My egg's resting. Come on. We're going stir crazy here, but it doesn't do any good to fight. Let's just cool it. Although it's getting plenty cool already. I'm getting so hungry. What do I do? Can't leave the egg. Maybe Patty will bring takeout. Wow, she's been gone a long time now. She must still be hunting. Uh, 
Okay, this is getting just a little tedious. Been sitting on this egg for weeks. Boring. Boring. Skewer! Look out! <laughs> There's two of them! I can't let him get to my egg. Hey, don't worry, little guy. Dad's got your back. I won't let the skewer get you. Go away. Get out of here! Scram! That's it, guys. Now we've got real trouble. Uh, uh, can't move or you roll out and the skewer will get you. We both have to sit tight. I'm warning you, keep away. It's okay, little guy. You're safe now. Yep. All in a day's work for Super Dad. <coughs> Did I hear someone calling me? <coughs> Patty, is that you? You back? Finally! Whoops! Where did it go? Rex, you idiot! Oh, no, if Patty finds out, I lost our egg. Got it, got it. Looks... All right. Back underneath. Easy, does it? Honey, you're back. Haven't left the egg alone for a second. We made it through a spring, and now it's summer. A happy time for penguins. And albatrosses. Boy, those first seal pups are growing fast. And here in Penguin City, well... <laughs> I'm still sitting on this damn egg. Sorry, Patty, I mean, oh gosh, I mean the oval pride of my heart. Yep, still there. Hey, Larry. Boy, nothing beats sitting on an egg, right? Right? Ah. Ah, ah. I think my foot's fallen asleep. Ooh, feels like something's crawling over it. Hey!
Welcome to the world, Junior. You know what this means? My shift is over. It's your mom's turn. What's more heartwarming than watching a mother feed her child? Mmm, tasty. I'm proud to be a dad, though. But I gotta admit, it's not as easy as I thought. There's a lot of dangers out there. There you go, Junior. All tucked in under your mum for a nap. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the skewers bite. Now, you know what today is. It's my turn to get food. I'm off to the ocean for a few weeks of me time. Freedom! I mean, I'll miss you terribly, honey. Road trip! The ocean! I haven't seen it in ages. What should I do first? At least I'm better off than my poor cousin Larry. He's been sitting on the egg next to me for all those long winter months. But something's just not right. Finally, he decides to check it out. Larry, of course, not the smartest one in my family, has been sitting on a rock. Must have been the warmest stone on the beach at this point. But now my cousins are free to come on a fishing adventure. Guys, look, we're bachelors again. The penguin pack is back. This is the spot. Last one in the water is a rotten egg. Ooh, sorry, Larry, I forgot. Is everyone ready to go hunting? Great, this is just like the old days. Party way! It's great to be back with the bachelor gang, but I got a funny feeling something's up. What could it be, what could it? caught a glimpse of a deadly enemy, a leopard seal. Ruthless, dangerous killing machine. Nah, I must be imagining. What's that? Seal. 
That was a narrow escape. Not everyone else was so lucky. It's time to hightail to the open sea. I'm safe, but I can't help wondering how Patty's doing with Junior back at Penguin City. I've been gone for days now, and Patty must be running out of fish for Junior. A chick is always hungry. Junior's feathers are thin, and he'll get cold so easily. Always dangerous creatures lurking around looking for an easy meal. <sighs> Junior best stick close to his mom, but he doesn't know enough to be scared. He has a lot to learn. He doesn't even know what his wings are for. He thinks he can fly too, but there's time to learn that later. Right now it's time for you to get some rest. I hope you're sleeping safe and warm beneath your mom's feathers, dreaming of flying through the air. Same dreams as an albatross chick. It's growing dark out here in the middle of the ocean, but I'm still on the job looking for fish to bring home. Lanternfish. They're called that because they light themselves up. To me, they're glow-in-the-dark snacks, calling out, over here, eat me. Come here, come on, take a bite. Tell you what, one is never enough. I've been roaming the open sea for two weeks now. I thought I'd be having a blast, a carefree bachelor again back hunting and carousing with my cousins, but everything is different now. I have a family, and I can't stop worrying about them. How are they doing? Junior will be starving now. But Patty won't have much left to give. She can strain with all her might to bring up the little fish she has left in her, but soon there will be nothing. If I don't get back soon, it may be too late. A pink would fly? This is as close as you're gonna get. Nothing is gonna stop me now! Killer whales in these waters. Swim! Swim is gaining on us! 
swim! Run! Run, we can do this! Run, we can do it! Faster, faster! Whew, that was close! We don't have much time to rest now. Come on, Larry Moe. We gotta get to Penguin City. We gotta go now. Junior needs me. Uh, please, not now. Just chill out. Listen to me. Look at me. I just got away from a killer whale. You think a seal scares me? This place looks different. What are all these seals doing here? What's going on? Oh no, it's the wrong end of the beach. And the wrong end of those elephant seals. I've got to get to Penguin City, and I will. Once more into the breach, dear friends. No elephant seal can stop us. Are we pigeons or penguins? We have a mission to accomplish, and come hell or high water, we'll make it through. The Rex Jr., Penguin City, and South Georgia Island. Charge! Oof. Oh. They have got a secret weapon. Eat some rough edge! They're too big to go over. It's time for plan B. Wait a minute, follow me! Okay, not that way. And not that way. Another gas attack. Somebody light a match. Well, maybe that's not a good idea. We can't go over them or around them. We have to find a way through them. There's 800,000 stories in Penguin City. And each one of them is told by a penguin with its own cry. How do I find two penguins in the big city? Patty! Junior! I'd know those voices anywhere, even amongst a million others. I'm coming! I'm back home. I am back home. And who is this? You can't be my chick. You're too big and fuzzy. What? You think Dad brought something back for you? All right, all right, I can't keep anything from you. A child taking the food out of Dad's mouth. That's what fatherhood is all about. Being off on my own for a while was great, but this is better.
Things aren't so great for my poor cousins. They see me with my kid doing the father stuff, and I guess it must seem like every other male penguin in sight is doing the father stuff too. They're a bit down in the dumps. Larry is still smarting over the stone business. He wants a chick desperately, and it's getting to him. He's starting to think. If he can't hatch a chick on his own, maybe there's another way. The crazy plan is starting to grow in his mind. Could he really do it? Would he really steal somebody else's kid? Larry, don't do it! Ow, oh, oh, man, that's gotta hurt. Now Larry's beating a retreat. Last I heard, Larry and Moe are taking a trip out of town. It's not the worst idea to lay low until this whole thing blows up. The trouble is, we've got just a few short months to prepare Junior for the tough times that are coming. He's really gonna need a thick coat and a thicker layer of fat. Okay, maybe I'm just being proud Papa, but I think he's got both. I mean, look at him. He's like a ball of blubber dipped in feathers. Look at him, take a look. But he's going to need something else. Toughness and self-reliance. It's the only way he's going to get through the long, brutal winter. There's only one way he can learn that. Come on, honey. It's time. We need to leave him on his own, to fend for himself. It's the hardest thing we've ever had to do, but it's tough love. Suddenly, Junior has gone from being the center of our family's little world to being just one little penguin in a big penguin preschool. And the good side is, now we can go fishing together. We'll come back to Junior when we've caught enough fish for us to make it through the winter. We need to catch a lot of fish and fast, so I've got a plan. 
will split up and go in different directions. When we reach the open sea, we know it's dangerous. Two penguins both alone in the great ocean. But it's a risk we have to take. Without his mom and dad, Junior has to figure out the best way to survive. If he's smart, he'll join up with the thousands of other chicks left alone. Some beauty and brains, he'll do fine. But I just can't help thinking, while I have to spend weeks hunting for fish for my family, my cousins Larry and Mo are free to go off on a bachelor adventure. Mm -mm. They could wind up on a beach where they've never been before. Not that I'm jealous or anything. I hope they have a good time. Meet new penguins. Of course, not all penguins are king penguins. There are, of course, the macaronis. They live life at a faster pace. They're also a little, ooh, how do I say this, temperamental? <laughs> Larry and Mo might get the feeling they're not very welcome. Maybe they'll run into something even nastier than macaronis. Giant petrels. Their wings are seven feet across, and, and they're not scavengers. They're killers. When giant petrels feed, all they leave behind is a pile of bones. And if Larry and Mo wound up on Death Beach, they need to get out of there, and fast. But I know only too well, this is the time when killers search for their prey. Patty and I are still far out to sea searching for fish. If anything happens to Junior, there's nothing we can do. Snow will be something new for Junior. Just a few months ago, he could crawl under me to keep warm. Now I'm gone, and it's getting colder. All Junior has now is his coat of down. There's some things his coat can't protect him from. My greatest fear is that giant petrels have found Penguin City and Junior. What will he do without us? Snap out of it, snap out of it. Keep hunting for fish. 
Junior needs you. I don't even know where Patty is. Or how her search is going. There's just too many fish in the ocean that Pingu can't eat. I wonder if we'll ever see each other again. With winter approaching, I hope Junior isn't totally alone. Have Larry and Mo made it back to Penguin City? They would be welcome. That place needs adults when danger is approaching. I must get back, but this storm is a killer. What if skewers show up? Will Junior stay safe? I just wonder if my cousins will be there to protect him. And what about the mother of all assassins, those, those giant petrels? What about the adults? Are there enough to defend the city? I, I can they guard the chicks? I've got to get back there. And what about sentries? Are there enough sentries at all the posts? Larry, Mo, please take care of Junior. Those petrels, they don't, they don't do things by halves. They'll be everywhere. You know, they'll test the city's defenses. They might be pushed back at first, but they'll come back and, and attack again. Chick is a junior. Uh, stop tormenting yourself. I'm sure he's alive. I'm free of the storm. I've got to get home. Can't stop thinking, is Junior okay? Nearly there, I can see the city ahead of me. Got to get there. I wish these wings could fly.
Hold on. I'm coming, Junior. That's it, guys. Run him off the island. Show him who's boss. Well, back to dinner duty. Meal time. Meal time again. And again. And again. And again. And again. I'm happy to be back with Junior. Something's missing. Where's Patty? She should have caught enough fish by now. The ocean is calm. Perfect swimming conditions for a penguin. She can see clearly for miles. Will she make it past the predators lying in wait?
she isn't coming back. All I have left now is Junior. My mate is gone. How can I bring a chick through the winter on my own? How? is upon us. That's a cue for the macaronis to hightail it out of here. The other animals soon follow. They can't wait to leave. Only we king penguins are crazy enough to stay on the island during the harsh winter. Well, there's a few elephant seals just too lazy to get their butts into the water, but they'll be gone soon too. Then it's just us. Junior still can't fish for himself, so it's up to me to catch fish for both of us. I hunt when I can, but I can't stay away for too long, or Junior will starve. Boy, I miss Patty. We're hungry, we're cold, but like our ancestors before us, we endure. The winter takes a lot of penguins. Many chicks don't make it. It's a long, terrible, tough four months. Finally, there's a hint that the worst just might be over. Over there, I can see green starting to cover the hills again.
The snow and the ice are melting and the water is running into the sea. Now the good weather's returned, so have the macaronis, which is great for the macaronis. The baby albatross is now 10 months old and taken his first flight. The whole gang is back doing what they've always done for as long as I can remember. Junior's bigger than ever, and he's hungrier than ever. I feed him, even though he's almost a year old, and almost as tall as I am. But I can still take him. He's entering the awkward face now. I know all the symptoms. Flapping. Itching, the falling feathers. Yeah, it's that time of life. Junior is becoming an adult penguin. It doesn't seem so long ago that I was molding, and now it's my chick's turn. His down is almost gone, although his head could use a shave. Woo! Hey, Larry, Mo, look who's here. It's Junior. No, really, look at him. Those feathers are looking sharp, Junior. That coat's waterproof. Don't worry. Your beak will be black for a little while, but it'll change too. I know, the ocean. Why don't you try out your new coat in the water? Come on, the water's not gonna come to you. Don't be a baby, you can do it. Now, it's my turn to watch a junior walk away. I remember when I first took the plunge. Was it really that long ago? It's been more than a year since I swam out of the ocean and walked up to Penguin City. I was so excited and anxious and impatient. I couldn't wait to find my mate and become a father. And there goes my son swimming by himself. He won't return for three years.
You know, now I know how my father felt when he saw me swimming away all those years ago. Sad, but proud. And what about my own journey? I began as a carefree, somewhat clueless bachelor, but now I finally found my place in Penguin City. <laughs>